High knees is a form exercise that primarily develops strength and endurance of the hip flexors, the muscles that lift the knees and prevent plodding in the running stride. High knees can also develop strength and endurance of the quads, and the exercise stretches the hip extensors, which include the gluteal muscles. These benefits lead to a longer stride and faster, more efficient running. High knees are ideal either before or after the main workout, or as part of a series of form drills repeated several times as the main workout. Because high knees demands a lot of coordination, we recommend teaching it in four phases. In phase one, only the legs move. Keeping the arms at the sides, slowly lift the knees so the thighs are parallel to the ground. Phase two adds arm swing while maintaining the slow pace. In phase three, the pace picks up. The objective here is to lift the knees as quickly as possible while maintaining good overall form. Remember, faster isn't better when form suffers, so slow down or return to phase two as needed to reinforce the ideal technique. Then for phase four, do high knees down a straightaway. The objective in phase four is to lift the knees up and down rapidly, not to cover the distance the fastest. Once your athletes have mastered phase four, that's the only phase they'll need to do. Here are seven pointers to share with your team. Always take off and land on the balls of the feet. Bring the thighs as close to parallel with the ground as possible. Avoid raising them beyond parallel as this will throw off the body's alignment. Flex the toes of the raised leg towards the shin so the foot is parallel to the ground. This stretches the calf, preparing it to contract forcefully upon landing for fast, powerful turnover. As the knee lifts, bring the foot directly up under the butt to close the angle behind the knee. This enables faster movement and saves energy. Look straight ahead while maintaining a tall, stable posture. The idea is to avoid leaning back, rocking from side to side, or any other unstable or counterproductive movements. The arm should swing from the shoulders and move in sync with the opposite leg. The angle of the elbows should range from 70 to 120 degrees with the hands passing the body near the hips. There shouldn't be any side-to-side -side arm movement. And finally, for phase four, remember to stress quick turnover and doing lots of knee lifts rather than racing down the straightaway. For phase four, have beginners start with three to five reps of high knees over 15 to 30 meters. More experienced athletes can do up to five reps of 50 meters. Ready guys, begin. And add arms. And pick it up. Let's take a closer look at the form of these athletes. This runner has good posture and is landing on the balls of his feet, but notice his arm movements. Each arm is swinging at the elbow joint and is swinging in sync with the leg on the same side. Instead, we wanna see a driving action of the entire arm, swinging forcefully from the shoulder. The arm swing should also be in opposition to the leg swing. This runner also has good knee lift and is doing a great job bringing his foot right up under his butt. The two main areas to improve here are to straighten that back a bit and to make sure to flex the toes towards the shin while the foot is in the air. High knees is a challenging drill, but with a little time and coaching, these athletes will perfect it.